Hello everyone and welcome back for another tutorial. My name is Joey and today I'll be showing you how to replace a battery of a backup UPS uh, APC XS1500. As you see right now it's not uh, working well, it's actually making some noise. But it is telling me that the batteries cannot be charged, meaning that they went bad on me. Step number one, you have to know what you are doing. Um, I'm going to show you how it's done but uh, you have to make sure you don't put the cables the other way around. So step number one is remember that. Number two, which is very, very important, you have to unplug it from the electricity. Do not operate this while it is plugged in. So I'm going to unplug it right now. Okay, now that is step number two. Step number three, we're going to remove batteries from inside the holster and by doing so these are the clamps that are holding them in I'm gonna flip it upside down like this and press on them and we're going to remove it very very slowly and let's be over it Put it back down and now we're going to remove the batteries from inside Very slowly, very carefully. There's two batteries in there. Let's remove number one. And battery number two. Of course, we unplug the plus over here, and the minus. I'm going to unplug it right now. These are very important. These are the cables that charge these batteries and these two cables also when your power cuts out and it wants to run on batteries these are the two cables that it is going to use these batteries so these are the old ones we're going to remove these two because this is what we use we're going to use now if you buy them from the supplier from APC they'll send you already pre-connected so we're going to keep this for now all right, let's put these batteries aside. And here are the new batteries that we are going to replace them with. Now I'm going to remove each clamp from here. These clamps over here are going to be put on the old one. You don't want the, these to be touching anything, especially if you put them near metal, metal surfaces. So I'll show you what I'm doing over here. I'm remounting them. on and I'm going to recycle them later and you don't put them in a uh, regular recycle bin you have to put them in a special recycle area you gotta go actually somewhere to recycle them all right now so these are the new batteries we're going to connect the plus and the minus over here and I'm gonna show you something to remind you so these are normal batteries over here and the trick is if you put them together and you put them in a flashlight uh, they will power this so here you will have more voltage and uh, more more time so always the plus and the minus and that's how it gets powered and uh, whether you're charging them this way this is how they get charged so of course the plus and minus they have to be connected to each other in order for it to charge very slowly very easy okay and now we're going to connect the minus before we connect the positive let's do that And slowly we're going to put them back inside. So don't force it in. Just pull that cable out slowly. Like this. As you see over here, I'm pulling it slowly. The black cable. The minus cable. 
and we're going to slowly push it in. Now before you push it all the way in, we're going to connect the positive and then, and then push it back in. So that's how to connect the batteries. And now we're going to flip it over like this. There we go. And we are going to connect. I'm sorry, we're going to put the cover on. And there you have it. All right. And now let's test it and see if the battery is going to be working. So, um, you don't start it right now. You have to connect it to the electricity first. It has to start charging. And then 10 minutes later, you can start connecting your stuff back. Okay. Alright, and start it up. There you go. Now, as you see, it is charging. It's charging the battery. Before, there was no light and it was making some noise. And now it's actually charging. And it's saying that our remaining time is 306 minutes. Load is zero. Of course, we have nothing connected to it and is giving 120 volts out. I hope this helped you out. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like, subscribe, comment, and share. You guys have a wonderful day.